Hi everybody, I'm Jim with Camping World of Myrtle Beach and today I want to answer some of the most frequently asked questions that I get here at the dealership. By far, some of the most frequently asked questions I get are in reference to financing. A lot of my customers will say, hey Jim, what's the interest rate on an RV? How long are the terms of an RV loan? They also want to know, should I go to my local credit union or bank to acquire financing? Another big question is, is my credit score good enough to get bought and done on this RV? I just want to let you know, as your salesperson, I don't have all the answers for those questions for you. My most important priority in my job is to make sure it's the right unit for you and your family, it's the right time to make the purchase, and I'm the right person to buy from. But I've been granted behind the scenes access to one of our finance managers and I'm going to ask them all those hard questions that you want to hear. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe. All right, we're in the finance office. And please introduce yourself and tell me what you do. Hello, folks. My name is Soph. I'm one of the finance managers here at Camping World of Myrtle Beach. All right, so this is going to be a tough interview. One of my Lay it most, on me. my most frequently asked question is, what would my interest rate be? Great question. We get that a lot here. Um, it's pretty common, actually, and it's just probably the simplest question we can answer. Uh, we have competitive rates and flexible terms. Uh, we offer a variety of banks, uh, preferred banks as well, uh, both commercial and credit unions. And as far as rates, it really depends. It depends on how much you borrow. It depends on how much money you put down. Um, it depends on what your credit score is. Uh, so I'd say, you know, ranges anywhere between 499 and 599 under 50 grand and about half a percent more if you go uh, with less than 10%. Uh, as far as over 50 grand, you can start looking at 399 to 499 right now. We have a lot of competitive rates and that's of course with approved credit. Um, but we have competitive rates and flexible terms. We've gotten some lower and some higher. But we're here to serve you. Uh, we check both preferred lenders as well as credit unions to make sure that we help you and uh, get on the road. All right. The second most frequently asked question, it's the get me done question. So what credit score do I need to get done on my RV? What credit score do you need? That's a tough one. So there's actually no such thing. Um, score, the scores are, are superficial. There are of course scores that banks like to see um, and they have created some tiers depending on what bank you deal with. Uh, for the most part, it's a little bit once you um, dive deeper into the score on how you've performed. Uh, we've had credit scores that are not perfect, less than perfect, and get approved with super competitive rates. And we've had some really, really perfect looking scores uh, when you look at them at face value, uh, but they've kind of been uh, artificially, uh, you know, hiked with, um, what I mean by that is, how do I put it? Authorized users or short time credit cards. Uh, so really the banks are looking at not only your score, but they're looking at how you performed as a consumer from both in and out of the RV, your previous credit scores, how long your credit history has been, how many revolving accounts you've had, and to make it quite simple, just how do you perform when you borrow money? Um, so there's a lot of things that the banks look at. There's a lot of things that we look at, and we're here to help you navigate through it to make sure you understand it. All right. So another question I get a lot is, what are the terms of a typical RV loan? Okay, uh, that's pretty easy actually. So typically the terms that we like to use is 15 years for under 50 grand and 17 to 20 years for anything over 50 grand. Of course, that's the max loan. Uh, we try to cater to you and your needs. We try to underwrite the loan with you. Uh, we, we are heavily involved in the process. We get involved and we, we stay involved to make sure that we're not going out too short of return making your payments less affordable than you wanted to be within your budget and also making sure that we go out far enough um, so that it is affordable. So we try to, to cater to your needs, we over communicate and really we just got to practice listening to each other. And, and uh, But to make it an easy answer, I'd say within 15 years for under 50 grand and 17 to 20 years for over 50 grand. All right. A big question is, should I, as a consumer, go to my local credit union or bank to get financing? Great question. Um, it's whatever's best for you. Um, we, we like to keep each other honest. 
it's no it's no secret that banks compete and when banks compete you win uh, we compete with the banks <laughs> but we're not a bank so we really just kind of rely on the information that's out there we rely on 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 the knowledge of who's buying what and we try to again over communicate during our interview process to find out if there's lenders that you have available um, such as State Farm uh, credit unions lenders like US Bank MNT Bank of the West um, Alliant there's lots of good banks out there competing for your business now's a great time to buy and now's a great time to start that dialogue all right do I need an extended warranty on my RV well of course you do um, it, it's 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 something that we try to make sure our customers are protected um, you know if you buy a wholesale unit probably not uh, but if you buy a unit and it's a retailable unit what I mean by that is a unit that you intend to purchase and keep and use uh, not flip or recondition and, and quickly flip to make a profit if it's something that you're going to purchase and own and use uh, both recreational or business use um, we'd like to make sure that your 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 asset is protected your investment is protected and you've spent a lot of money uh, whether you spent ten thousand dollars with us or you spent a million dollars with us it, it really doesn't matter at the end of the day uh, plumbing electrical slide outs they're all made pretty much the same some of them have more features than others some of them have more sensors than others it doesn't matter we want to make sure that you're protected and at least know what your options are um, the, the greatest thing is both at work and at home I get this question a lot hey so um, do I really need the warranty and my question to you would be hey how many software updates do you go through from your car to your televisions to your phones and it's one of those things where uh, personally I like to at least give you the option to protect it versus just assume that you're gonna become an RV technician and assume that you're gonna have multiple locations throughout the country uh, to be able to fix it at any time and also assume that you're going to have the support staff to get it from point a to point b so there's a lot more involved um, once you own this type of machinery and this type of of luxury want um, this toy uh, they tend to be very expensive when a maintenance or a, a fix needs to be done so we like to support you um, during your time with your family it's it's really it's it's a different type of purchase i think uh, because it is a want it's not a need we're also competing against the luxury market and the luxury market has similar items such as warranties or or payment protections or or hotel protections the products that are sold out there regardless of what you buy are there to protect you you should take advantage of them and uh, and ask questions and make sure that they're right for you all right I get a question a lot is about how much a month is a standard warranty on an RV extended warranty so you can customize your warranty options with a menu. One of our finance professionals will get with you on every purchase 100% of the time and present to you 100% of the products available um, to you, uh, depending on what you buy, whether it's towable or motorized. And what I mean by that is towables uh, might have options that are obviously more affordable uh, because they don't cost as much. Motorized also has different options, uh, same products, but the price is different due to the price of the unit and also it has an engine um, diesel pushers uh, are also going to drive up the price of the monthly warranty but if you want to have a good guide as far as what you feel is a good deal just for the warranty now bear in mind there's another slew of products out there like tire protection and gap protection and roadside assistance travel assistance uh, windshield protection so we try to make sure that there is no bumper to bumper warranty that doesn't exist However, we do have uh, supplementary products that could make it as close to having just about every scenario covered outside of regular maintenance. Um, so the warranty, I'd say anywhere between $25 a month to $30 a month is a good uh, measurement, test and measurement for a towable. And I'd say $35 to $50 a month for a motorized, just for the warranty. If you decide to go with other products, folks, you can spend money on just about anything you want. It just depends on how you use it. So I strongly suggest you do your research, you ask the questions, and you find what's valuable for you. And if you find the value, buy it. Um, it's just money. I hate to say it that way, uh, but you want to make sure that it's, it's right for you. You want to make sure that it fits within your budget before you walk into a finance office or before you have a conversation with a finance manager. Tell them where you want to be, and, and we'll work with you. There's lots of incentives. There's lots of products uh, available to you, but we don't want to sell you a product that 
for example, State Farm may have already given to you. So if we sell you a product and the product is already covered, gap insurance, let's just take that. That's my number one thing that we compete against. Let's say you have a light gap product uh, with your State Farm agent, but you decide that you want to buy an extended service contract with us, good same, I mean, um, then you could do so and take advantage of one, having a lower payment by not adding a gap insurance through us, even though I say that kindly and gently, because I still think that you should separate uh, insurance products with warranty products and um, just to not give the leverage to the insurance company when the gap policy has to be satisfied. All right. Um, this question comes from me. I pulled an interesting statistic about you. Um, what I found out is over nine out of the 10 people that come into your office, they use our in-house financing. Why is that? I think it's, um, I try to work and serve my customers to the best of my abilities. And, and what I mean by that is there's a lot of customers that I encounter um, that want to pay cash. And then we, we offer them low enough rates uh, where it makes sense. Um, let me give you an example. A customer may come in with the idea, uh, with the plan of, hey, I'm gonna go through USA and I'm not beating on USA. USA is a great company and they offer great products to their customers. However, they don't specialize in RVs. So with that being said, there's banks that we have, preferred lenders and also credit unions that we have, they're in constant communication with us and constantly trying to tailor to our customers' needs. And so having a lower rate with a longer term might make, make more sense for you. Um, so some of my customers I have found in the past really try to take advantage of that. Um, so I might have a customer that comes in here, let's just use 9.25, and in their head, they thought, you know, that's a really good rate, uh, it's for 20 years. And then I show them 4.99 for 15. I just saved the customer five years worth of payments and considerably lowered their rate, interest charges. Um, so you just gotta listen to your customer. Bottom line is you gotta listen. And if you don't, you're 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 gonna you're not gonna have this type of stats. I didn't even know this type of stats um, were out there, or I even have that. Um, so you kind of got me by surprise. But but for me, it's just all about you know just take care of your customer, serve your customer, have a heart for service, and make sure you ask um, your customers to just be upfront with you, and you be upfront with them back. Um, but it's all about just making sure that your customers know what's out there. All right, that's a behind the scenes look at our finance department here at Camping World of Myrtle Beach. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe.